back is coming in. The tide. The Lord was talking, that's why I was a little late because he was talking to me about the tide. All, all day, and then when I got ready to go to church, he started talking about to me about the tide. The tide. Uh, what is a tide? A tide is a rise and fall of ocean water or terrestrial. Now, terrestrial means earthly, and celestial means heavenly. So a tide is a rise and fall of ocean water. Now you have three tides. You have what is called the ebb tide. EBB, the ebb tide, that is the lowest tide of ocean water. Then you have another tide that's called the nep tide. The nep tide is water that's more or less below average or just the average flow of water. But then you have another tide that's called the spring tide. And the spring tide is a tide that is above all other tides. In other words, you find that the tide goes out and then the tide of the ocean comes in. Somewhere they say the Bay of Fundies that sometimes the ships get stuck in the dock because the tide has gone out. That means the water has gone out. And the ships, I mean they're in 50 feet. The tide goes out as high as 50 feet. And sometimes ships get stuck because they're right on the floor. But when the tide comes in, then the tide, the ship can float. That's all we need. Some of us have been living in a low tide. The tide is low. I can't, I can't sail. The tide is low. I don't care how low the tide is. You can run that rudder full force. It's not going nowhere because there's no water. The tide has gone out. There's a lot of things. There's a song, let the tide come in. Let the tide come in. Let the cleansing billow sweep away our sins. Let the tide come in. Let the tide come in. Let a mighty tide come in. The church world is in what you call an ebb tide. They're in an ebb tide, a nep tide, where everything is going according to schedule. Hey, man, we're just floating and swimming around. Praise the Lord. That's in, in what little spirit and Holy Ghost we got. But God said there's a tide. There's a spring tide that's coming in. Hallelujah. And when that spring tide come in, that's what you call a rise of ocean water or rise of terrestrial waters. We want the waters to rise, don't you? Hallelujah. Rise until we stop speaking English, go to speaking in tongues. Rise, my God, till we don't fear nothing but God. Rise, my God, till we don't fear and hate nothing but the devil and sin. We need the tide to come in. And God says he wants to hear that that's going to, you talking about the Bible, a Russian of a mighty wind, Russian of a mighty wind, Russian of a mighty water. That was a wind tide on the day of Pentecost. God wants to spend a Holy Ghost spiritual tide among his people where God can rush in on us and, and everything that's not like him will rush off of us and wash us and cleanse us and make us all over again. That's what it's going to take. And all God want to know is, are you willing? Are you willing? Are you willing? Are you willing? Hallelujah. Thank God. Some of you, the devil just got you in a rut. Loose yourself. And tell that devil, you ain't getting me in no rut. You ain't going to make no rut my grave. The Bible says, shake yourself from the dust. Thou captive daughter of Zion, rise up from this depression and rise up from the heaviness the devil's trying to put on you. Don't let that devil get away with it. God has brought you too far for you to allow these things to carry you under. God, I'm stuck because I'm in an ebb tide, but send the spring tide and lift me in the spirit. Lift my soul. Lift my life. Set me on high. I don't want to be average. I want to be above average. Shake me from center to circumference. Turn me upside down. Right side up. Inside out. Put a yes in my spirit. Put a yes in my soul. Put 
sincerity in my life is overdue it's overdue what God's got for you it's overdue but if you be willing and obedient and say yes to God with the tide you'll rise you won't be under the tide but you'll be riding the tide hallelujah say yeah stand on your feet stand on your feet Woo! hallelujah hallelujah I'm tired of the same old same old there's a better touch there's a new level there's a new plane there's a higher apex there's a higher dimension there's a higher peak and if down in your soul thank you for what I've got but I've reached a place Jacob I'm in your shoes how do you want it I said do you want it do you hear what I'm saying put yourself in the way and purpose in your heart whenever you begin to pour out your spirit let some drops now follow me let the tide of the Holy Ghost sweep away everything that's not like you the tide's got to come in cause folks is in an ebb tide they're stuck in the mud they're stuck and can't get out but I came to tell you there's a tide that's coming in and when the waters come it lifts you it lifts you above stuff it lifts you above circumstances it lifts you above the devil that's been trying to take you over say glory message meet me down here meet me down here God now. it ain't because you haven't prayed it ain't because you haven't asked God some of the things I've been preaching about is not even new to you because that's been the cry of your soul you've heard it in other messages and in other ways it was brought out but I'm here to tell you oh glory that help is on its way a tie a tie I'm not talking about Katrina I'm not talking about Katrina but a spiritual tie that's coming in hallelujah you won't be straining to pray the prayer will be in you when you wake up you won't wake up drowsy. You'll be full awake. Lord, what you want me to do? You want me to read my Bible? Want me to pray? Are you listening to me? He's going to quicken you. He's going to revive you. Some of you acting like you're old. But God's going to revive you. And renew your youth. As the eagle. He's going to quicken your steps. Hallelujah. Your time. Didn't you hear me? Say, your time has come. God has preserved. God has preserved a remnant. There's a remnant out of every people. There's a remnant out of every city. And God is catching hold of the remnant. Yes, he is. And endow them with supernatural power, with great gifts, with an anointing that's so heavy that sinners won't be able to stand in the congregation of the righteous. Yeah! Oh, let me go. It's coming in. The tide is coming in. It's coming in. Be ready to receive it.